Hello everyone. So today I am going to work on this automatically starting the fires of this campfires as it, uh, as the sun sets. So here you can see now it's fully extinguished. No fire, no smoke, nothing. So sun is setting in that direction. You can see that from the shadow. So if I make the time go faster now it's now it should be like 6 p.m closer to 6 p.m that means 18 here so now at 18 that means yeah now the fire starts automatically see for all the campfires i have given some randomness so that's why they don't start at the exact same moment all three together to keep things a bit more organic now if uh, if it when the sun rises, so let me speed up again. Okay, it's closer to the sunrise, so let me slow down. Yeah, now the sun is rising in the east. In a while, the fire will be extinguished. See? So, this smoke will disappear also. No more flames, no more amber. Yeah, smoke also disappeared. Okay. And if I wait until the nightfall again, this will again start. But uh, yeah, that's what we are going to work on today. All right. So if you remember, in my character interaction series, I worked on day and night sensitive AI routines. So here. This, is a, this video is available on YouTube in my channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. So here, I added this BPI time of day listener and I call that event on all the actors who implement this BPI time of day listener and I called notify sunrise and notify sunset uh, from the BPI time of day from the BP time of day so I have copied those uh, interfaces and this functions into the open world series so that I can use the same system here so what I want to do is here we have our fireplace uh, campfire so when it's night it should automatically start the fire and in the morning it should uh, extinguish the fire automatically so i already have this notify listeners and this is called in update sun method so at 6 pm we call this night event and at 6 a.m. we call this day event oh this here is a typo day and night not mode okay now if I open the blueprint the campfire blueprint here for now test for testing I have enabled on and off in the begin place so I'll disable it 
and here I'll implement the API time of tail listener. So we can now implement um, sun event notify sunrise and event notify sunset. Now in sunrise we simply have to just call this uh, on event and in the sunset we have to call off. So let me do that. Right now and uh, let me select the time of day and I'll set the time something closer to the sunset so 15 means 3 pm maybe 60 4 pm so Set the speed time step to 0 0.01 so we can test this faster and if I play the game now simulate the game now now you see as the sunset the fire starts And it's going to rise, I think, now. Wait. No, that's wrong. Let me check why. Oh, I have a mistake. At the sunrise, we should turn it off. And at the sunset, we should turn it on. And so let me duplicate. Add a couple more so we can easily see the demonstration and also. Maybe let's have some random delay. Just a delay. No. Random float in red. The reason to add a delay is because when we have multiple fireplaces, they all will not start and stop at the exact same moment because that would look less organic so 10 or 15 seconds let's wait before running on and off right now let's see wait let's press this in the play mode Wait, this is wrong. Ah, oh, it's not wrong actually. Uh, the reason we didn't see that is because the time goes so fast here. So, here at the beginning we get a call to notify sunrise anyway. So, this is called at the beginning because it's already daytime and we do get a call 
to this event when it is already in the daytime when we play the game at the beginning play. so when that call receives this off routine which is this part starts executing and then in a short time as the sun sets immediately we get the next call also so if the fireplace is already off we should not call the off event therefore i think we need to have some way to determine that either we can add a variable yeah, that will be simpler Let's have a branch. Fire started. If this is false, if the fire is not started yet, it should start. And if here when we turn it off if fire is started already we should turn it, we should execute this routine to turn it off so by default this is false that means fire is not started see it's in the this is the default state now fire and here we should set it to true set it to true once the fire is started and here Set it to false once the fire is extinguished. Okay. Now, in the time of day, I'll reduce the speed a little bit. Let's try something like this. Now it seems over so now you see in the beginning we don't have any anything it's just a extinguished campfire and as the sun sets it should start igniting Still sixteen, seventeen. That means five a.m. Another couple more seconds, the fire should start to 17.4. I increase this a bit. Yeah, now in the evening, it should start. Okay. Wait. Oh yeah, that's okay. So if the delay is too much, we can work on that. Or we can, uh, instead of calling the event, 
sunset at 6 pm perhaps you can call it dawn 5 pm to start the fire earlier right now let me increase this a little more so that it will be morning not fast enough Let me pause the recording for a Okay, now it's closer to 6 a.m. here. So closer to sunrise. Yeah, see, sun started rising. He's starting to see the clouds in the horizon. Okay, sun is rising and the fire should be extinguished in a while see it's just a smoke now those two are also extinguished all right system is working and the smoke will also be gone in a while yeah okay so yeah that's it for today i'm gonna to stop this episode right here by the way if i wait till this nightfall it will again start the fire so let me speed up a little bit 14 okay slow down Seven pm point seven eight now sun is setting. The fire should start in a while now. Yeah, eighty. So that's some more light. Okay, so it works in a loop. Not this. Alright, so we can actually use the same system to implement something like a straight light. So any other light that you have in the world that you need to automatically turn on. So yeah, thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.